Hey gems, welcome back. It's Lorena. Today I'm here with a Daiso Japan and Downtown LA haul. I did go and hang out with some family members in Downtown LA. This past weekend I had a lot of fun. We went to this women's expo. They had a bunch of goodies. I did pick up one thing at the expo which I had forgotten about, but I... Now that I mentioned it, I'll share with you guys too. And then today I had to pick up some household stuff at Daiso Japan, which if you've never heard of, it's kind of like the Japanese version of the 99 cent store. Basically everything's a dollar, dollar fifty, or priced as marked. And I've seen things from three to five to seven, but I don't think I've seen anything over ten bucks. And if I have, it's like plateware, which obviously ceramic stuff like that would be more expensive. But for the most part, everything is really affordable and some stuff is really great quality. Some stuff is kind of like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's fifty. you could tell. But I figured why not share with you guys the goodies that I got because, as usual, I went in for one or two items and came out with $15 worth, which it really isn't that bad. I actually was, like, proud of myself because that's kind of a low number when you think about the inexpensive prices. But, anyways, let's hop into it, why don't we? The first thing I got in downtown LA, and the one I'm most excited about, to be perfectly honest, are my new sunglasses. I know, it's the end of summer and here I am buying sunglasses, but I hadn't seen these and I actually love how reflective they are. I'll take them off now because I'm sure they're blinding you. But they're like giant mirrors on your face and I like the fact that um, it's very re reflective so it protects my eyes. Um, I hate like wearing glasses but you can still see people's eyes and make eye contact. That's kind of weird. So I like the fact that it's very reflective and uh, I avoid that. But also they're not super dark so I don't feel like it's nighttime because sometimes lenses are just too dark on glasses and I'm like, oh, I don't really like that. They block the sun out just enough to not be bothersome basically. So really, really love these. I love the shape. I love the way they look on me. Yeah, highly excited. And they were $10 because downtown LA, y'all. I mean, they're not the best quality, but who cares? They're sunglasses, really. So yeah, first thing that I got was that. Then, like I said, I went to LA for a women's convention. Was fun. I got to spend time with one of my aunts and my cousin. So shout out to my day Yuri and Liz because I know that they discovered my channel not that long ago. So hey girls, um, I had a great time hanging out with them. They were kind of disappointed. They were like, oh, it wasn't as good as last year. We're sorry. We made you dry out, drive out here. I was like, I had a good time. We got to hang out. We went to Little Tokyo. We also hit up Earth Cafe, um, which I'd heard of but never seen. It's actually really cute. It's in like the dis arts district, which was fun. We walked around and took pictures. And while at the Women's Expo, the only thing I picked up, which my aunt bought for me, so thank you, Thea, is this KTB Beauty Lip color. It is um, match number 14. It just says KTB Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. Really pretty, very neutral color. It's like a peachy, peachy nude. My cousin ended up getting the same shade. So pretty. I'm not wearing it today because today I felt like wearing a gloss, but I will be wearing this a lot in upcoming weeks. I just know because it's exactly the kind of lip color that I love. So that's what I got as well. Those were my two downtown LA items. And then today I had to go to Daiso to get some household stuff. And like I said, bought more things than I expected or really needed, but there you go. So what did I got? What did I got? What did I get? I actually got some beauty stuff, which I also was testing out today. And honestly, these lashes, if you guys had noticed something different, I am wearing faux lashes. They are from Daiso. And... They were $1.50 for the pair, did not come with any kind of glue, but I like them. These are W202 Natural Beauty Lashes, and yeah, this is what the packaging looks like. They have this packaging, but with like a pink, a purple, and I think a green kind of background, and that kind of shows you like the different styles, um, but these are the natural, and honestly, they have really thin bands, so they're not too bothersome, but I'm just not used to fake lashes. So this is, this would take some getting used to. Like, I don't know how people go out like this every day. I don't really. Like, I've only had them on for like 20 minutes, and I'm like, my eyes are bothering me. They're heavy. And these don't have very thick bands at all, so that's just me. That's just a user failure. But I do like how they look. Although this one looks better because I'm right-handed, so it was easy to apply this one, but this one was a mess. I was like, I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> It was really bad, you guys. It was really bad. I'm just, that's just obviously a dramatic reinterpretation of my voice, but that's basically what I look like. Like, like it was bad trying to see what I was doing on this eyeball. I have to practice that. But the lashes themselves, I'm actually really liking. I like the style. I like the way that they would look if I had applied them correctly. So, yeah, first thing. And then I'm also wearing an eyeshadow quad. 
I'm wearing three out of the four colors in this quad, and I have to say, I like the look I came up with, but I feel like it's a little bit muddy, too. Like, you can't really differentiate between the three shades that I'm wearing. Like, you can see the bright one, and then these two deeper ones kind of just blended into each other into kind of a mess. But yeah, I'm wearing this as the bright shade, I'm wearing this kind of on the outer half, and then this gray, in the end, I put it in the crease, or yeah, put it in the outer corner to deepen it, and put it through the crease, but I really think you can't tell between the green and the gray, which really isn't like the end of the world, but I was pleasantly surprised by the quality of this, I mean they blended really well, they're very smooth and quite pigmented. So I have the three that I'm wearing on my eyes, and then the one I didn't reach for was the gold, because mm, it's, it just looked like an okay gold, and you can't even see it. I can't even see it. So yeah, that one I wasn't too interested in, and I'm not too wild by, to be perfectly honest. Hope you guys can see that patch right there next to the shade. That one's a whole lot of nothing, but the others are pretty good. I actually really like this bright greenish silvery color a lot and I like this one. I like the look that I came up with. It's just it could use some improvement. I know. I know. But overall for a dollar fifty, not too shabby, I have to say. Um could definitely use a matte instead of that gold for sure. But we work it out. Alright. Then this is another reason this is something I got at the 99 well I'll get this I'll get to that in a minute. I'm skipping ahead. Alright. So I got those. I also, the other beauty products that I tested out were the Volume Mascara. Yes, I am wearing this today on my upper and lower lashes. I have to say this was a whole lot of nothing on both of them and I kind of had a hard time applying it. But that's because of the next product, which I really don't recommend. Let me see where I put it. And this I did put back in the packaging to share with you guys. Um, the other one was the Magical Eyeliner. This is a waterproof liner. Oh my gosh, you guys. This, I'm not used to this kind of brush, so that was part of the problem too. It has a very thin, like super thin, very wobbly kind of applicator. And so I'm not used to those. I had a hard time. I actually got it in my eyeballs, you guys can see here. I was trying to get so close to the lash line. And then it just flicked all over me. Great. So yeah, I need to be careful with that. It's like a very thin, very wobbly brush. And I mean, yeah, you can you know, do some interesting stuff with it, but you have to... I need to practice with these kind of applicators, to be perfectly honest. That's another user fail. But the formula on this made my lashes stick together like glue. I was trying to apply the mascara, and a couple places where, like, the actual liquid liner had flicked onto my lashes, they were, like, stuck together. I had to, like, pick them apart, and I didn't even succeed in some parts. So that's a little bit scary. I'm a little bit worried about taking this off, to be completely honest. And I guess I'm lucky that I have a lot of sunspots because that just kind of looks like more freckles but anyways I will remove them but I have a feeling this is going to be really hard to remove on my eyeballs not looking forward to that so I think yeah mascara liner eyeshadow and lashes those were the four beauty products that I got at Daiso then while I was there the reason I went to Daiso was actually to get a cleaning brush because I have a cup with a plastic straw that's part of the whole system that I've been using a lot and the straw is getting a bit murky like I've been trying to clean it out but it's not that easy so I needed one of these to clean out the straw and this is just like a little four set that they're all on the same ring so I was like alright for $1.50 so this is the reason I went to Daiso and I just needed that one item but of course I found all this other stuff while I was there I also got some soft rubber um where are these pegs? Like for your clothesline. I don't have a clothesline, but I do want to put in a backdrop here for some future videos just because you don't always want to see the same background. I think it'd be cool to have something sparkly or maybe just a black um, black canopy. I don't know. I'm thinking of experimenting with backdrops and so this will help me hang them. And I like the fact that they have rubber because it'll protect whatever material I get. So grab those. Then there's a couple more things. I got some headphones. These are mini headphones and I like this style because at night when my boyfriend, um, he falls asleep very early and I am a night owl. So when I want to listen to music or YouTube videos or just watch stuff on my phone or my tablet, I can put on these kind of headphones and actually lie down with them on and they're not in my ear and they're not stabbing my ear. I have very sensitive ears. I can't wear in 
ear buds for very long because they start to hurt after a while but these kinds are like they have the nice little cushion I'm sure they're not the best quality sound wise I don't care at 11 o'clock I have it on low anyways I just need something that's not going to kill my ears while I'm trying to let him sleep so grab those because they're hard to find actually and then the last couple things are food um so the first one is this Daiso Select Apple Tea has five little packets of tea. You can pour it in hot water or cold. Um, I love apple flavoring, so I was like, ooh, an apple tea, huh? Hmm. We'll see how good that is. Then I also picked up a packet of Pocky, because I'd never seen the crystal salty one before, and I love like sea salt and chocolate put together, so I was like, I wonder how that tastes. And then if you have tried Pocky before, you know it's freaking amazing, so with some salt in there, I was like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, next to my Daiso, there is a 99 cent ranch market, which if you've never heard of, it's like an Asian supermarket. They have all kinds of stuff, Thai, Korean, Vietnamese, Japanese, all kinds of international foods. And my nephew and I had been on the hunt for these candy that are guava flavored. He gave me like two little candies and I literally saved one for three weeks because I was like, I need to find these candies before I eat it. Like I had one of these in my purse for three weeks because I was like, I will not eat this till I find a replacement. So I just walked over to the 99 cent ranch market while I was at Daiso, found them and was like, yes. So I actually bought myself a bag and my nephew one because my brother and his family also loved them. And I mean, this whole bag is gonna last a while because there are a ton in here and my boyfriend didn't happen to like them. So these are all for me. These are gonna last me till after Christmas. No, they're probably not. Who am I lying? I mean, honestly, they're so good. And they're small, so they don't last too long, but a nice little hard candy is good to keep in your purse because sometimes you get dry mouth or you've eaten and you don't have a mint, and I just, I really like these little guava candies, so I was so excited to find them. And this big old bag was only two bucks. No joking, I got two of these in a bag of, like, little straw jellies, and it was, like, five dollars and change, so cha-ching! Totally scored. But... Yeah, that's it for this haul. I know I didn't spend much. Is anything too exciting? But I figured I would share with you guys the goodies that I got. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see the next upcoming videos. And I'll see you soon.